As the title of this video said, I've been keeping a secret and I want to share it with you all. So if you'll hang with me just a few minutes, we'll get into it and I will share with you what is going on in my life and what kind of changes are going to be coming my way, which I hope won't affect the channel too much, but let's talk about it. Hey girlfriends, a little bit more of a serious note today. Not really, because in a way this is um, really some good news for me, but in a way it's kind of scary news for me as well. No, it's not a collaboration. Yes, I'm staying on YouTube. Nothing like that. Let's start out with just a little bit of my backstory. If you go back and see my videos when I very first started, by the way, I've been on YouTube for seven years in January. I cannot believe I've been on it that long. And I love what I do. To get to visit with you guys and to get to see all of you and to get to interact with all of you and bring you content that I am so passionate about, which is makeup, skincare, beauty. It's like a dream come true for me. And the fact that I've gotten big enough now that I'm actually making enough money to help my family and be able to support my channel on my own is just such a good feeling. So I love this. I love everything about it. When I started my channel seven years ago, I was 120 pounds heavier. And if you go back and look, you'll be shocked at what I looked like. And I struggled for those first few years, probably the first three years on YouTube. People were with me and I had a great time with the subscribers that were there, but I wasn't attracting a lot of people because number one, I was sick. And I think that came across through the camera lens in that, you know, not a lot of people want to watch a person that is struggling that hard. And I struggled really hard. And even though I love doing it, being that big, it was a challenge for me to do YouTube. It was a challenge for me to do anything. So I decided um, through a lot of prayers and a lot of soul searching and a lot of talking with my family that I was going to do gastric bypass weight loss surgery. And I did that um, in July of 2019 and I lost 120 pounds, which my life has completely transformed. I, everything about it has transformed. I feel so much better. I don't have, I was in pain 24 seven. I'm still in pain because I still have fibromyalgia. I have trigeminal neuralgia. I have Raynaud's syndrome. If any of you know what that is, it affects your fingers and your toes. I also deal with PTSD from a really bad alcoholic abusive husband years and years ago. I have um, left bundle branch block in my heart and I also have POTS that is a part of my heart condition after I got COVID. So I have all these things that I still deal with, but the weight being off, not carrying around, I mean, seriously, go into Costco, pick up a 50 pound bag of sugar and walk up and down the aisle with that. Now, imagine that you had two and a half of those and walk up and down the aisle. When you have that kind of weight on, oh my gosh, you know what I'm talking about. It's so hard. And for anybody that struggles, my heart is with you. I know how hard it is. It is, it's really hard. And I know a lot of people said that I took the easy way out. It maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I don't feel like it was the easy way out. I had tried everything, but that's beside the point. So after all of that happened, after I lost all of that weight, I had a lot of extra skin. And you don't see that a lot. You do see me when I stand up. My middle is very round all the way around. I had three cesareans. And that's how I delivered my kids because I couldn't, um, my pelvis was off kilter from an accident when I, had, was, when I was a kid. And so I had to have them cesarean. And after a cesarean, your skin gets pulled up right in that area, in the pubic area. And so I have all of this very, very loose skin that flaps over. And, you know, I mean, I, this might be gross. I don't know. Some of you might appreciate it. Some of you might be going, what are you talking about? But the skin, um, because of the way that it is and because of how loose it is, I actually get a lot of infections in there every year. Not only is it unsightly and nasty, um, it diminishes my quality of life. And so here I am again at a point in my life where I'm grappling with whether or not I want to have another surgery to fix something that I've inflicted on myself. So I've decided to have skin removal surgery. But in the interim of finding a surgeon that I could work with and that was perfect for me, I found that not only do I have to have skin removal, removal surgery, I actually have to have it all the way around the circumference of my body because you don't just lose weight on your stomach, right? You lose it everywhere. And so I have that same problem in the back 
as I have in the front. Trigger warning. If talking about surgeries and different things like that set you off, this is your trigger warning to skip past this video right now. Shut it down and just move on because, you know, I'm going to talk about what my surgery entails. I'm having a 360 tummy tuck. And that is where not only do they cut you from hip to hip, they cut you all the way around your body. And they take off all of that loose skin and then they pull everything together. And so I will have an incision all the way around my body. Not only that, on my abdomen, in my muscles, um, I, they're going to stitch those muscles in from the abdomen back together. So they're going to stitch those all together. So I'm going to have that. And I'm also going to have liposuction down the hip area because of the way that the skin hangs there too, so that they can pull the skin a little bit tighter because just of all of the way it is. I think about when you blow up a balloon, you blow it up really big. You know, you get this little bitty balloon, you blow it up really big and it stays that way. And then you de you deflate that balloon. And what you have is all of this. It, it just is never going to be the shape that it was before you blew it up. Well, that's what loose skin is after weight loss. It's this, just for lack of a better word, an empty balloon that looks like crap and can cause a lot of health issues. And in my case, it's been every single year and it's not just in summer. Summers are super hard. I have to take care of that skin differently. I do a lot of things to keep that skin dry and I still get either a yeast infection in there or just a plain old really nasty infection in there. Um, I get heat rashes constantly and I'm uncomfortable. And I know, good Lord, as I talk about this, and I, I'm sure that a lot of you are going, you sound so selfish. I have a lot of you friends that come here to my channel. You're battling cancer, you're battling lifelong diseases, you're battling things that really have altered your life. And I come on here and I talk about skin removal surgery. But this is what's gonna be happening to me. And this for me is my next step in the journey of my life where I want to get to be a better person and to get to do something that has bothered me for 30 plus years because my oldest son is 32. But what I want to tell you is number one, I'm not trying to diminish any of what you're going through. I just had one of you that is one of the sweetest people and you've only found me about, I'm sorry. You only found me about six months ago and you just told me that you had a cancer diagnosis. Friends, the gal that just told me about this is, and you'll see her in every single video. She comments on every single video. And so many of you do. But she was so bubbly and so upbeat, and she still is. But she's just barely got this diagnosis. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm... And I just want to jump through this camera and just hug her. I mean, that's how I feel about so many of you when you talk to me. I want to jump through here and I want to hug you and I want to tell you that I'm your friend and that, yeah, I may not pray for you each individually because there's a lot of you, <laughs> but I pray for all of you, for all of us to have the fortitude to cope with whatever we face and as many of you know, I lost my dad this year. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could have gotten through it without all of you. I mean, I've lost a lot of people in my life. A lot of people. And I've been through a lot, because as many of you know, I have three kids that are type one diabetics, and that started, I was 27 when my middle son got type one diabetes, and I've lived a roller coaster life with my kids. And now they're going on almost into, almost into 25 years of type one diabetes. And now we're starting to see the effects of that. So my life isn't easy, <laughs> just like you guys' isn't. But boy, you don't realize how you get me through so much. And that's why when you come into the comment section, that's why I try so hard to take the time to answer you. Because if you take the time to comment and talk to me that means that you really not you know I mean I get the haters yeah but it means that you really have enjoyed something that I've brought to you and that you are invested enough to just take a few minutes of your time and chat with me and I treasure that 
and I've said this over and over again, but I really do. I feel like if it's important to you, it's important to me. I wouldn't have a channel without you. I wouldn't be where I am without you. I couldn't be a beauty guru that has this as their job without you. And the fact that you are, value me enough to take a few minutes out of your day and watch me and then you take a few minutes to comment because you felt good after my video, that's special. You're special. And I am not somebody that that is wasted on. I will never take for granted what YouTube has done for me or what social media has done for me and the freedom to be at home with debilitating diseases and health conditions and still be able to contribute to my family's welfare, that's huge. And so I'm never gonna take you for granted because you help make my life what it is. And I love you when I say that. Those aren't empty words. Love you, <laughs> you know. Mm -mm. No, those are words that come from a place of deep gratitude for a YouTube family that picked up for me and helped me when my own family wouldn't. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. So, January 9th, I'm having skin removal surgery that will take me about six weeks to recover from. I'm not going to be gone for six weeks, but I'm not gonna be able to talk and converse back and forth for that six weeks very much. Um, I'm uploading a lot of videos right now that will be will populate and will come up on your feed during that time so that you don't you don't miss me too much. <laughs> but I just wanted you to know that that's what's going on. Um, fingers crossed, no complications, everything will be okay. Um, the biggest complication is blood clots, but they know how to manage those now and I don't get those in surgeries anyway. So yeah, I don't know what made me just do that just now, but little bit into my life and who I am and I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I truly mean that. And I'll be talking to you and showing you my progress very soon. And I hope that any of you that are battling anything yourselves, please know that I'm, that's not lost on me. That's not wasted on me when you tell me those kinds of things. And when I comment and see how sorry I am, I truly am. This world is messed up and we need each other and I need you. So please take care of yourselves. Stay happy. And I'll see you in my very next video. Goodbye, girlfriends. <laughs>